Who would have thought? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Julianne and we are going to be doing a doodle with me. I've never done this before. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, also, you should be proud of me. I'm not wearing a uh, anime graphic tee. So today we're gonna do a journal with me where I just talk, do a Q and A that I did on my uh, Instagram, which is gonna be linked down below. And I'm gonna be journaling in like basically real time and there is no plan. So this might be a complete mess. We're just gonna have fun. We're gonna relax. We're gonna doodle together. We're gonna have a chit chat. I got my trusty teacup right here. I got my journals, got my supply ready and Let's get started. Okay, so for sketching, I'm just gonna be using this H pencil. I normally go with this pencil. It's just a normal HB pencil. It's a number two pencil, mechanical. I am really, really heavy handed. So I don't like to use this now. I usually use this just so that I don't have to erase as much going back. And I make so many mistakes that I just, I just need this one. <laughs> Okay, so now we're onto the marker and um, pen portion. How did I forget that word? So what I'm gonna be using today are going to be my Tombow markers and my super tips. These are Crayola super tips. These guys are my trusted bullet journaling utensils. Utensils? Utensils respond, like, refer to like forks and spoons, right? But these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. So I'm using the, uh, oh, this one does not have a code on it. I'll just link everything below. But, all right, on to this. Let's figure out what we're doing here because I don't know. I'm gonna go in with the blue here and I think I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna be doing something with this. <laughs> I do like a quick like fat highlight. That's That could be cute. And then I'm gonna do like a cute circle that's like roughly colored in here. We're really winging it guys. We don't really know what's going on in life or anything we are going to be using this and we're going to be using this so this is a tombow fudonosuke pen it's the dual tip this one's gray and this side is black and i really like this pen because you can like do your calligraphy and lettering in this and then if you want to add a shadow the other side of this is light gray so that's perfect for a shadow all right let's do this so the trick to these are just short strokes i think Not bad. It's really shaky, but that's totally fine. Look at that. We're going in. All right, so I'm just gonna add like a little fake outline shadowing type thing. Okay, it looks horrible right now. Let's see if it gets any better if I keep going. And then we're gonna add in 20th. Easy peasy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add some rough circling around this too. Make it extra cute. Why don't we add in a little, little loopy guys? Oh my God, so cute. I am so bullet journal -y right now. I don't know about you guys, but does anyone get really nervous that they just like forget how to spell while they're lettering? Because lettering to me is not writing. Lettering to me is like drawing. So when I letter, I like forget how to spell things as I'm just focused on drawing the freaking pretty letters. And this is exactly what I was talking about. That's not how you spell Wednesday. <gasps> We're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this by pretending that this is a D. So we got half the days done. We're gonna do the other part of the days and I think I'm gonna take a look at a question. What do you use for pen storage? Really embarrassing. 
This is my pen storage. And so impractical. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so you don't store your pens this way. I'm actually going to be building myself a pen storage because we are in quarantine and I am bored. And this is this is not acceptable. It's like portable, like the idea is that it's portable, but where am I going where I'm like, by the way, here are my supplies. And if you guys wanna see a video of me building my pen storage, then uh, let me know in the comments below. Tell me, because I got nothing better to do right now. Okay, so we're done with the heading portion. I think we're gonna go on to draw the nudes. But yeah, let's do another question while we're at this. I want to get into amateur illustration and digital painting. Where do I get started? Ooh, I'm gonna answer this question in two parts. The first part I'm gonna do is the physical things you need to do digital painting. So you're gonna need software, you're gonna need free ones, I think are like Coral. That's a really good free one. You can even just use Microsoft Paint. Not gonna be as good as let's say uh procreate or photoshop or if you want to do vector drawing you really need to get a program a separate program for that like adobe illustrator which you do have to pay for hardware that you're going to need is going to be i actually have it right here one this is a cheaper option that you can use i say cheaper but it still is kind of pricey it's 80 dollars. this is my wacom tablet it's an intuos s it comes with this little pen and this one is Bluetooth or it can be connected right here with a USB. I like using my iPad Pro. So I got this, it's like the biggest one you can get. I really like it because it's nice, nice big surface and you draw directly onto it. So it comes with the, well, this is a dangerous way to hold my iPad. It comes with the Apple Pencil, but I love the Wacom. I still use it a lot. So those are your hardwares. All right. Back to drawing, and then I'm gonna talk about the other thing that's hard about starting digital art and trying to become an amateur artist is like the mental block. So I'm gonna go back to this view down here. Okay, I know I said I'm gonna continue talking when we get down to this view, but I'm gonna get started with some noodles first. So while we're drawing the noodles, we can continue talking. I am going to line up my pens in order of how I want the coloring to go. Like, okay, here, let me show you. So. I'm right-handed, so these need to sit over here. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, so I have like this nice little ribbony structure I have going. And I'm gonna start here, a little thin, and I get fatter as I get down. This looks not that great right now, but the trick of this is we're gonna add in some outlines like we do over here. Adding in the outlines really gives it structure and a little bit more detail interest and it gives it a little bit more organization. So I'm gonna go in on the outside. So the reason why I do not do the pen first, you're gonna cause bleeding and the bleeding is gonna be ugly. It's gonna make it like nice and green and you do not want green noodles. And back to the question. To me, the hardest part about becoming a digital or amateur artist and the hardest part about getting started, having the confidence to start. Honestly, the art field is crazy intimidating. There is so much talent out there. I was really scared to suck because I thought it was like kind of like a reflection on me. Like I suck because my art sucks. It's like, I don't have a style yet. I don't know what to draw. I'm too scared to draw because I don't want to suck and I don't want to have to face the fact that I'm just not meant for art, you know? And there's like this big idea of like natural talent and like people who are meant to do this have the natural talent and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's just not true. Just start for fun. It's like, 
an expression of yourself is something to do for fun so don't go in with the expectation that you're gonna be a professional that you're gonna be so good at the beginning because with all that pressure and all that comparison you're gonna be miserable like a big thing i had to get over is comparing myself and it was just really unhealthy for me for a while to like look at other art accounts because i was like oh my god i'm never gonna get there but you do. You're gonna get to where you're supposed to be and it's okay. Their growth and their success has nothing to do with you, you know? Just because someone else is doing great doesn't mean you can't also do great. There is literally no connection between someone else's progress and your own progress. Pro tip for getting started and starting to find your own style is to go on Instagram and do those um, hashtags that are uh, draw this in your own style and they have already drawn something that's really cool for you. Honestly, when I was starting, I used those draw it on your own style uh, hashtags and I would not post them. But I, I would try to draw it the way that they drew it. but everything always came out looking like I drew it. And then I discovered, oh shoot, that's like my style of drawing. And then I started experimenting a little bit more. I looked up a lot more artists and I tried to emulate their style. And just the way that you like things is gonna come out. Your hands are gonna do what you think looks best. And if you try to emulate other people's style, like seek inspiration and things like that, eventually conglomeration of inspiration will become what you do. I'm not saying like, copy other people's art because that's a no-no we don't do that here if you guys copy other people's art and i catch you i'll punch you in the throat Oh my god, we're done! We finished, guys! Who would have thought? But that, that was really fun. I'm actually really proud of this. This looks really good. I'm really happy with the results. Thank you so much for watching. This video may or may not be a mess, but thank you if you stayed all the way through. If you guys want to see any more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and comment in the section below, guys. I freaking love comments. And if you want to see anything else from me, check out my Instagram. All my Instagrams, I guess. They will be linked down below. If you guys have any video ideas that you want to see, comment below. I'm doing nothing during the quarantine, so do it. All right, thank you so much again, and bye.